Okay, so we're getting ready to do Grove of the Patriarchs. Wonder if this is one of those Douglas firs or red cedars that are about a thousand years old. They're huge. Not as big as the sequoias, but they're big. We're also following the Ohana Pakash or Ohana Pakash, not sure exactly how to say it, river which is also the name of the campground which we're staying in tonight. So we'll probably hear a lot of the river going, going down this trail. Water's clear and it's fairly fast moving and I'm sure it's cold. These red cedars that you see here were actually used by the Indians to make dugout canoes. So the average lifespan of a Douglas fir is about a thousand years. Big. Yep. That makes sense why they use it as uh, canoes. You holding it up? Yeah. All right, let me hurry up and get underneath you. Well, take a picture of my camera. You want me to take a picture of you holding it up? Yeah, I don't want to fall on anybody. You got this, Tina? <laughs> it's dry right now, but it must get muddy. It's okay, less mosquitoes when it's dry. They say they can get about 200 feet tall. Pretty tall. Just for comparison. How big they are. <laughs> <laughs> Can't show how massive they are in a video. No, the video doesn't do justice, I'm sure. They're a thousand feet tall. Look how big around they are though. They're huge. They're huge. The last 15 inches of the tree is alive and all the center of the trees is, is rotten. These trees are rotten on the inside of them. They're big. You can see the tops of them fall out right there. I guess that explains why that just seeing half trees. Yep. I guess after a thousand years they're allowed to die. That one's growing out of another tree. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the base of the tree oh, wow. like one fell tree. down right there. And then that tree decided to be a limb and grow right into a tree. And right out of the top of it. Wow. That is huge. Massive. Huge.
All right, so we just finished Grove of the Patriarchs. It was a 1.1 mile trail and it only had 52 feet of elevation gain, which was wonderful for the day we had today because it's been a long day. What was your favorite part of the trail? Well, it was all beautiful, I guess, after you cross the bridge, but this would be another trail. I'd either go earlier, later in the afternoon because there does get a, a line backed up at the bridge. So yeah, that. I definitely recommend it. A really cool bridge to walk across and you know the the trees were massive and it was kind of cool to see them and then tomorrow morning we're going to get up and we're going to head over to uh mount st helens and see uh see an active volcano